like, you know, what kind of book should I be reading? Because I think that's really important as well. Yeah, it's a it's a very popular question that I get all the time. And so I think there's a couple different ways to answer it. The what do you have to say? Because you read a lot of books, I'm sure. Is it is your library primarily, hey, let me, um, I'm interested about how I should deal with stress. Therefore, let me read about it, fix a problem. And, and what would you say to someone if they're thinking like, you know, what kind of books should I be reading? Because I think that's really important as well. Yeah, it's a it's a very popular question that I get all the time. And so I think there's a couple different ways to answer it. The the very clear one is like we're talking about. If you have a desired skill that you'd like to be better at or that you'd like to acquire, then there are probably some books that can help you get there. And so I always tell people around the beginning of each year, okay, it's about to be 2021. By the end of 2021, who do you want to be? What are the yeah. differences between where you are now and where you want to be? Are there some skill gaps? If there yeah. are, let's talk about what are the best books that can help cover that gap for you. And so that's mm -hmm. one way to think about it. The other really popular answer that I give to that question is, who do you want to be like? Are there icons of industry that you aspire to learn more about, that you aspire to be, that you aspire to emulate? Let's just say that you want to be extremely inventive and creative and innovative. Okay, well, that's Steve Jobs. There are a couple really, really thorough books about Steve Jobs. And if you read those books, number one, you'll be super interested. So you'll probably end up finishing the book. Those aren't dry stories. You know, they're about people that you want to be like. And number two, you can start to filter your thought process and your decision making through their thought process and decision making. And you can sort of discover those things through books. So those are kind of the two things that I, I recommend people start with. Experiment Nation, thank you for watching another video. If you found it to be super helpful and insightful, one that you can take action on, you'd like to receive more blueprints, more experiments that you can apply in your lab, make sure you text me at my community number, personally at 678-679-5613. Right at my number, guys, 678-679-5613, and we'll send you more practical, actionable blueprints so that you can have success in your lab. We'll see you on the other side.